At this very moment, people are flocking to fifth edition alternatives. And chances are, if you clicked on this video, then you've been properly seduced by the chaotic siren's call from Dungeon Crawl Classics by Goodman Games. Dungeon Crawl Classics is my all time favorite role playing game. I love it so much and I wanna use that love and my wealth of knowledge with the system to help all the new players out there. Joseph Goodman, the dark master himself of Goodman Games, has recently said that January 2023 was the all time best selling month that the company has ever had which means that there's lots of you that are new to DCC, and that's who this video is for. I'm gonna break this video down into two parts. The very first half of this video is gonna be all aimed at the beginner, the neophyte, the person who has never played DCC before. I'm gonna get you everything that you need to have the smoothest experience of DCC possible. For the second half of the video, I'm gonna get into the more advanced things that you don't necessarily need to get right away, but once you fall in love with this system like I have, you're gonna to wanna to dive deeper and you might wanna buy these things. First off, do not be intimidated by the gargantuan girth of this book. It's massive, but you only need to know about 30 pages of the rules to get yourself started. The rest of the book is judge's advice, there's a monster manual. A lot of it is devoted to spells, which take up tons and tons of this book, and I'll explain why later. And then you have a couple starting adventures to round the whole thing out. This isn't right. What's, what's with this music? Just cut the music. Cut it. Cut it. I don't like it. We need something different. It needs to be a little, it needs more metal. All right. That's better. I like that. Also, this shirt, what am I wearing? This doesn't fit. This, this doesn't have the right vibe for DCC. I'm going to... Ah, Ah, ah. Yeah, it's better. That feels more DCC, which leads me to my very first point that we need to get in the right mindset for Dungeon Crawl Classics. You're no hero. You're an adventurer, a reaver, a cut purse, a heathen slayer, a tight lipped warlock guarding long dead secrets. You see gold and glory, winning it with sword and spell. Caked in the blood and filth of the weak, the dark, the demons, and the vanquished. There are treasures to be won deep underneath, and you shall have them. DCC is a combination of 1970s psychedelia, heavy metal music, and gonzo fantasy. You're not going to find kobolds and orcs and goblins when you go questing in Dungeon Crawl Classics. No, no, no. You're going to find weird robots wielding laser guitars and vile necromancers that summon frog women who barf up mind-controlling foam. Embracing this mindset and leaning into the weird is part of the game's allure and part of its charm. Yes, you could very well play this as a straight-up high fantasy game that's very doable within the rule set. However, I feel like you'll be robbing yourself of the experience and part of the fundamental DNA that makes Dungeon Crawl Classics so special. Next up, you gotta buy the core rulebook. This baby behemoth right here. You gotta get your hands on this. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. One of the coolest things about DCC is that Joseph Goodman constantly commissions his wonderful stable of artists to come up with limited editions of the core rulebook. So I say, pick one that speaks to you, buy that and make it your treasured possession. All right, now that you've got yourself the core rulebook, the next thing you're gonna need to get your hands on are some funky dice. But Wolf, I already have mountains and piles of dice why would i need any more that's true i'm sure you have plenty of dice you're gonna need to get your hands on these right here you gotta get your hands on some of these right here right now dungeon crawl classics uses weird and funky dice. You're going to be getting weird things like D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, D8, D10 percentile, D12, D14, D16, D20, D24, and a D30. Why do you need all these weird dice? If you're coming from fifth edition or other role-playing games, you might be familiar with something like advantage or disadvantage. Dungeon Crawl Classics uses the dice chain. 
For instance, if you put yourself in a good position to attack some weird monster, instead of getting a plus modifier or being able to roll with advantage, you're going to roll 1d higher on the dice chain. So instead of rolling a d20, you're going to be rolling a d24, increasing your chances to hit. Who are you? Where did you come from? Same place I came from. Hold! Oh, no. ah! There are still some flat modifiers that the game uses, but for the most part, a judge is going to be relying on this, this dice chain to sort of give advantages and disadvantages to the monsters and the adventurers in any given scenario. It's a very simple system and it's pretty powerful. And I'm not gonna lie, the just bust some of these out. You put a D7 in front of somebody and their head is gonna explode. <laughs> And that's awesome. You want to freak out people with dice. You've got your core rule book. You've got your dice. Now you need an adventure to run. Part of the secret sauce that makes DCC so wonderful is Goodman Games' insistence on using some of the most wonderful and creative adventure writers on planet Earth. Every single one of their adventures comes across as like a piece of playable art. They are incredible. They are unlike anything you're going to experience in other tabletop role-playing games. The very first type of adventure that you're gonna wanna get your hands on is called a level zero funnel. What the hell is a level zero funnel? Why are we level zero? What's a funnel? Well, in DCC, everyone starts off at level zero and you're gonna have a group of three or four basically peasants that don't have any class. You're basically going to be blacksmiths, cheesemongers, gong farmers. You're gonna be these worthless people that are gonna go through this harrowing meat grinder of an adventure. And the people that survive, those are gonna be the ones that graduate and advance to level one. And then from there, they're gonna become the adventurers that you play. Unlike other games where you have to come up with some sort of backstory, DCC, put you in the backstory. You're going to become so weirdly attached to your level zero halfling chicken butcher than you ever would just coming up with a backstory on your own. It's bizarre to explain, but the fact that they've survived against all odds, you're like, this is my guy. I am, I am the chicken butcher and I have survived. I implore you, do not skip the funnel. Give it a shot. Play through your character's backstories it is one of the most wild and fun experiences you're ever going to have sitting at a table playing a tabletop role-playing game. If you're looking for a recommendation for a funnel, in the back of the core rule books, you have the Portal Under the Stars, which is an amazing funnel, but almost everyone is going to unanimously say that you need to try Sailors on the Starless Sea by the amazing Harley Stroh. It's almost a rite of passage for DCC players and judges to go through. On top of that, I am really, really partial to The Hole in the Sky by Brandon LaSalle that has this weird, otherworldly, folklorish kind of vibe where you're going to this another prison dimension doing some, some really strange and awful and curious things. So go out and buy some DCC adventures. At 15 to 25 pages or so, these things are all killer, no filler. I guarantee that you are going to have some of the most amazing experiences of your life with the official DCC modules that they put out. There is a third party DCC product that I think is absolutely essential. Do not skip this. There's no words on the cover. This little dark and ominous tome. This is the DCC RPG reference sheet. Dungeon Crawl Classics is a game that is chock full of randomized tables. You've got critical hits, you've got fumble tables for all the different classes. I do not judge without this thing. It makes running the game so much smoother. Look at how battle-worn and battle-tested this bad boy is. Go and get yourself a copy of this. The DCC Quick Start Rules. These are kind of borderline essential. They're like five bucks. These have all the core rules that everyone's gonna need at the table. I usually slap like three or four of these on the table just so players can, can have them. If you don't want to have physical copies of these, you can go on Goodman Games' website. I'll leave a link down in the nether region below where you can find the basic rules. 
that are included in these. Plus, plus they all come with a fancy adventure and they change up every time they do new printings of these. Goodman Games thinks of everything. They are one of the best tabletop companies. A lot of the third party community surrounding Dungeon Crawl Classics does a lot of the heavy lifting for Goodman Games and putting out products and even websites in this case that are really gonna help you play Dungeon Crawl Classics. I'm talking about purplesorcerer.com. The website Purple Sorcerer is the most helpful online resource for Dungeon Crawl Classics. When you're running a funnel, it has level zero generators to quickly create four characters that you can just toss into that meat grinder. All you gotta do is click over here and blah blah bop boom, you got your four level zeros, you're good to go. They also make a mobile app called the Crawler's Companion that's 100% free. It's loaded with spell results, a lot of the rules in the game, so if you need to look up something real quick, it's there right on your mobile phone. It even has a dice roller, so you don't have to buy those funky dice. John Marr, the person behind Purple Sorcerer, is a wonderful human being. He has made DCC adventures, he has created this website, he has created this app, all out of the goodness of his love for the game. Check out Purple Sorcerer. It is essential for playing Dungeon Crawl Classics. If you're unsure about the game, you're unsure about the system, what I recommend doing is signing up for Goodman Games DCC Demo Night. Every single week, if you go to goodmangames.com and you click on Demo Night, I believe it's Tuesday nights and they've expanded it to Friday nights as well, you're going to be able to play in an online game with some of the creators of Dungeon Crawl Classics. If you have any questions about rules, if you have any questions about the system, or you're just nervous about trying it for the first time, the DCC Demo Night is fantastic. And let me let you in on a little bit of a secret. A lot of these games are run by Judge Brendan LaSalle, who I previously mentioned as the author of Hole in the Sky. And I can personally attest to him being one of the most amazing judges in the entire world. You are never going to get up from a table that Brendan LaSalle is the judge at and be like, well, that was a bad time. So go ahead, try out the DCC demo night, play with some of the, the people behind the game. They're going to make you fall in love with this system. So those are all the basics that you're gonna need for Dungeon Crawl Classics. You're gonna have everything you need to become a judge or a player that is about to get involved in their very first funnel. But if you're like me and you've fallen hard for DCC and you wanna continue diving deeper down the rabbit hole, follow me and I've got some advanced tips and advice for you, come along. Spellburn is this unofficial sort of official podcast to Dungeon Crawl Classics. It's not technically affiliated with Goodman Games. There have been multiple hosts over the 115 or 18 episodes that they've done. It is incredible. I basically learned how to play the game with like the, the first 20 or so episodes of Spellburn. Those are like, all your questions you could have ever had, people have written in, they have answered them on Spellburn, they go through the whole rule book, they go through spell duels, they have, they have Michael Curtis and Brendan LaSalle and Harley Stroh and all these other DCC luminaries on there to talk about the game. Start at episode one and work your way all up to the new stuff or start somewhere in between or just pick an episode that's like, oh, hey, I wanna learn more about this weird magic system that they have, boom. Spellburn, I cannot recommend it enough. Dungeon Crawl Classics has been embraced by a community of some of the most creative and awe-inspiring people that I've ever seen in tabletop role-playing. And a big part of the third-party scene is the DCC zine. So what the hell is a zine? It's a small booklet that is filled with third-party content for DCC. It's usually a DIY effort kind of thing, very low budget, but it is just filled with sort of third-party rules, things that you can use to enhance your game of, of Dungeon Crawl Classics, because here's the rub. Joseph Goodman has come out and said that there will only ever be one core rule book for DCC. He's never gonna do splat books. He's not gonna have new additions or more releases. So the community has risen up to support this game that we love with these zines. And they cover a wide breadth of categories 
and flavors. You have zines that turn the game into a 1980s ninja action movie. You have zines that just add rules. You have zines that just add monsters. You have zines that add new settings. Zines are a fun, cheap way to get awesome content from seriously some of the most creative people on the planet that love this game. Even yours truly has put out his own DCC zine. Link down in the nether region below. Yeah, you want to become part of this community, and I highly recommend that you do. Back in the day, there was this amazing G Plus community that was just filled with all of these creatives, and that is sadly long gone. But in its place, there is a Facebook group called DCC Rocks. The DCC community is seriously the best I have ever encountered online with any role-playing game out there. The people are friendly, they want you to like this game, they want you to like whatever game that you're gonna play. They're very inclusive, they are very welcoming. It's a reflection of Goodman Games as a company that this community has risen up around them. Goodman Games goes above and beyond to support this game. They go above and beyond to make sure that your voice is heard. It really is awe-inspiring, and I really and honestly truly love this company. Let's talk about settings. Maybe fantasy isn't your deal, it's not your bag. Luckily, Dungeon Crawl Classics has you covered. They have a wide variety of official and third-party settings that are worth your time. A few years ago, Goodman Games unleashed Mutant Crawl Classics upon us from the twisted, amazing mind of Jim Wampler. Mutant Crawl Classics is an homage to Gamma World of old. This is a bizarre and weird and wonderful post-apocalyptic game where you'll be playing as plantients and manimals and mutants and humans and you're gonna have weird computer AIs as your patrons as you're running around hothouse jungles fighting all kinds of weird mutants. It is amazingly supported by Goodman Games with official modules, and the third-party support is great as well. Then we have DCC Lankmar, which is based on the appendix and novels of Fafford and Gray Mauser by Fritz Leiber. Lankmar comes with tons of new rules like fleeting luck, and it removes things like clerics, and it gives you more character class options. And if I'm being honest with you, the Lankmar books are some of the best city supplements you'll find for any tabletop role-playing game. Feel free to get out of this world with Harley Stroh's Perils on the Purple Planet or dive into weird Appalachian horror with Michael Curtis's Chained Coffin box sets. Umerica! Wow. This is if you want to crank the Gonzo to 11. This is the weirdest and wildest setting that I've ever seen for DCC. It's like Mad Max meets Fallout meets Thundar the Barbarian. It's Saturday morning cartoons. It is just an all-out crazy setting that I absolutely adore. You are going to find some of the weirdest character classes in all of Dungeon Crawl Classics in America. Reed, you are a madman. I love this setting so much. Please don't ever stop supporting it and making it. DCC Scratch-Offs. <laughs> These are the stupidest things, and I love them so much. If you die in a funnel, you go ahead, you grab your DCC Scratch-Off, he fills out everything for you, and bam, you got a brand new character sheet that was filled out randomly. It's really dumb, but most people at the table are going to see this and just be like, that's amazing. I want my character to die <laughs> so I can use it. Spell Grimoires. Magic in Dungeon Crawl Classics is incredibly dangerous. It is incredibly chaotic. Let's take a look re real quick and see what it's like to cast a spell like Animal Summoning. Klaatu, Verata, <laughs> Part of the reason the core rulebook is so thick is because every single spell in the game is like a one or two page spread filled with artwork and random charts that go from a level zero to a level 30 plus result. And on top of that, there's manifestations, there are uh, misfire charts, it is just jam-packed with information. This can be incredibly overwhelming to magic users like wizards and elves. 
So what you want to do is head over to Purple Sorcerer, click on the Spell Grimoire, fill out the drop-down menus over at Purple Sorcerer, and print out a copy of Spell Grimoires for any wizards and elves at your table. Trust me, they are going to thank you for this. Appendix and Books. A big part of this game is Joseph Goodman's desire to go back to the books that inspired Gary Gygax and come up with a system that is based on that literature. To really get a feel and to get in the headspace of how DCC is meant to be played, you're going to want to read some of these books. Some of these authors are H.P. Lovecraft, Fritz Leiber, Jack Vance, Clark Ashton Smith, Michael Moorcock, and many, many more. But if you love like Conan the Barbarian, you're going to want to dive into Robert E. Howard and you're going to be like, oh, this is how combat is supposed to be run in DCC. Most people that play DCC eventually go down the rabbit hole of Appendix N literature. I want to make an important distinction right here, right now. In Dungeon Crawl Classics, you are a judge. You are not a dungeon master. You are not a game master. You are a judge. Being a judge is not just a synonym to dungeon master. Joseph Goodman offers lots of advice in the core rulebook to explain just what being a judge entails. This is your table. This is your campaign. These are your rules. Do with them what you want. Break anything that you don't like. DCC is highly malleable. You can take it and turn it into something that suits your table and suits you. If something isn't explicitly spelled out in the rules or you can't quite remember, make a judgment call. Being a judge in DCC is about rulings, not rules. You're a facilitator. Your job as judge is to make sure that the game runs smoothly and that every single person at the table is having the time of their lives. If you want a monster to be able to cast Magic Missile with the result of 18, you're empowered to do that. Just create a monster and give them that ability. You don't have to figure out how that works within the rules. You're entrusted with all of this power, all of this freedom, to make sure that your players are experiencing things that they've never come across before. You want to floor them with wild locations and monsters that are going to freak them out and have them come across magic items that they're not even sure that they want to wield. So become a judge. Run a game of DCC. Go to your local game store or invite friends over to your house. Grab some pizza, grab some beers. I've given you all the rules, all the beginner tips, all the advanced tips everything you could possibly need. If you have any questions, reach out to me in the comments and I will answer them personally. Dungeon Crawl Classics has changed my life. I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be on this channel if I had never discovered this game. My passion for role-playing games in general shot up to a level I never knew that I had within me until I discovered this game. And I'm hoping now that I've shared this with you, I've shared all of these tips, all of these all of these things to help you get started. I'm hoping it does the same for you. I'm incredibly passionate about this game. This video is not sponsored in any way by Goodman Games. I am doing it out of the, out of the passion that I have for Dungeon Crawl Classics. I want you to experience this game. I wanna thank everybody that stayed to the end of this video for watching. Leave any comments down below if you think I missed anything. And I'll talk to you next time. My name is Wolf Manzella. Thank you so much for watching basic glitches. Next, you gotta buy yourself the core rulebook. This baby behemoth right here.